From Orange County and the campus of Chapman University, this is the Chapman Business Report. Well, as you likely know, every year, Chapman University's economists take an assessment of the national and local economy. And then just to tweak the numbers, they do a revision in the summer, but we're going to cut that in half. And Raymond, mm -hmm. Dr. Raymond Sphere, 30 years an economist here at Chapman, does a very widely watched purchasing manager survey of California um, uh, business people. And we're pleased that Raymond could join us and we got rid of SE and DB for <laughs> one, one segment. Thanks Thank for coming you. in, Raymond. Let's Thank start you. with the national economy and, and do this mid, uh, mid revision uh, assessment. The national economy, I'm going to throw up the, let's look at the, well, let's look overall now. The recovery is 64 months going and total GDP growth 12%. On average, 40% coming out of a recession, and the forecast for 2015 will be 3% growth. So yes. a, a, a tepid recovery by your reckoning? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it has been a very slow recovery, very little growth every year. Even for though now jobs are, years. all the jobs have been recovered pretty here nationally, That's stock market is back at all time, but be, why then, how, did, how is that tepid recovery defined? Uh, some jobs have been recovered, not all of them. And there is a very large number of people who just gave up and are no longer looking for a job. That's the most worrisome figure is the labor force participation. Correct. And that is low. So these guys eventually, when the labor market improves, they will come back and hopefully the unemployment rate will go for even further below the 5.7%. Is it, is it something internally? We know that nationally, here in California, we've been raising taxes, we've been raising regulation. Are we inhibiting ourselves? Or you look around, we're gonna talk a little bit about places like Greece and Russia. Uh, is it the problems in Europe and say parts of Asia that are holding us back? Yeah, uh, the financial uh, recession has hurt California more than the nation as a whole. And our unemployment rate has been above the national uh, average uh, for all these years. But slowly we are recovering and we're catching up. So a large number of employees were really hired in uh, the last few months. So things are improving. In uh, Orange County, for example, our unemployment rate is below that of California, which is a positive sign. Yeah, we dropped below 5%. Correct. Uh, a few more things on the national. How important, and is it entirely a 100% benefit, what's going on with gasoline prices? P they, they say the average person, because crude has dropped to 50 a barrel, saving $750 a year. That's not a small amount of money. Yes. But is it all a positive? Uh, for the consumers, it was a positive. Uh, we you say enjoyed it. Was. it. It's not going I know to, they've been spiking up a little. You say yes. was. You think it's ephemeral? Uh, yes, it is not going to uh, to last very long. And we already see that prices went way up in the last two or three weeks for many reasons. Uh, one of them being the summer blend that increases costs every year. Actually, it's not just uh, this year. Uh, the uh, explosion at the Exxon uh, refinery, uh, there was a strike. So all of these factors put together. Also, there was a, almost now a 10% increase from the low of oil prices, like from 45 to 49 or 50. So if you put all of these together, they all happened at the same time in two or three weeks. So that, that's why we see now 50, 60 cents more per gallon. So, but good while it lasted, right? I was looking you know, at the re, you know the retail sales figures, and they're they're okay. Car sales are holding up, and um, gas prices lower gas because again the increase in incomes. We talk about going back to our original point, the tepid recovery. The increase in incomes has been nominal, right? Yes, uh, this is why the Federal Reserve really is holding on the low interest rates. Actually, practically how zero. much longer? Uh, not before the, the end of the first six months, or the first half of the year. So it's going to be towards the end of the year. They are worried that wages are still very low, even though unemployment rate has dropped. Uh, and that inflation, really, they don't need to worry about it. It's still below 2%. So there is really no, nothing pressing them to really increase interest rates. Did the Fed's charter change? I always remember that, that, that when, when I first, that was in the economics major by, by training yes. and, and as a business journalist that the Fed's charter was strict to maintain stable prices and now it seems they've added to try and foster growth. Uh, yes, uh, it's actually uh, looking at the unemployment rate and keeping it at a low level to have maximum employment. So they're... So they're Target was six and a half. We're below six and a half. Yes, now they, they keep changing it. It is five and seven is not uh, really enough. That's mainly because of those who really are discouraged, and there are really hundreds of thousands of those. 
So if you count these, then the unemployment rate is much higher than 5.7%. Sure. Mm -hmm. It would seem they have room to raise, if you just look at inflation, this is the first time this figure, in Jan no, it's a lot gas-related. January, the CPI index down 7 tenths of 1%, and yeah. for the year, I think we were under 1%. Yeah. Uh, we don't expect the inflation rate to be over 2% for this year, which is still at the, the target that the Federal Reserve had set for itself. Yeah. So they really will start taking action if it goes beyond 2%, because they don't want to build inflationary expectations both by business as well as by individuals. And we are very far away from that. So just to wrap up, national or international, uh, I ask what concerns you. Uh, so Greece... Of, and, and other places in, in Europe, but Greece still the big concern, and then yes. and then Russia because our joy at the price of, of uh, low price of oil is their pain, right? Absolutely, uh, the decrease in the value of the ruble. Uh, and the sanctions that were imposed by the United States and Europe have really hurt badly the Russian economy. This year they're going to be in a recession. It, it may last the whole year. Uh, that's hurting them, but it's also hurting Europe because now their imports from European countries is less than before, and that's really hurting some countries in Europe more than others. And as far as Greece goes, and it's not just, I mean, you know, Spain and Italy have had, you know, 20% unemployment and huge deficits. Yeah. Is, where is Europe in its recovery? Uh, Greece's recovery is really, it's very sad there, 25% unemployment rate. Uh, it's 50% for young people. So it's, it's unfortunate, but they spent so much money, they borrowed so much money. I mean, they owe 240 billion euros, close to $270 million. And now with the new program with the uh, economic community, they just postponed things for four months. I don't see their plan really doing much between now and four months from now. Uh, like uh, they want to uh, catch uh, tax evaders. You don't do that overnight. It's not like there are several hundred thousand, each one owing a million dollars. That's like the time honor because it's not raising taxes. Yeah, that, that's yeah. the easy one. No, yeah, that, that's exactly. political in nature. Dr. Raymond exactly. Sphere, we're going to focus on the Southern California economy next segment on the Chapman Business Report.